So welcome back to another episode of the Daily EK. Now I've had these NK92s for quite a while. And as you can see here, the brake dust has just built up. Over the years, that stuff has just caked on more and more. During my normal washes, it just will not come off. Also, these wheels have a machined lip to them. But as you see here, it's developed water spots as well as brake dust that's just been caked on there. Also, the back of the barrels, these things are disgusting. Brake dust is just king inside of there. So these are my NRG lug nuts. Some people were asking about them. They were originally bronze, but as you see, the color has kind of been scratched away over use over the years. Probably time for some new ones. Okay, so I have the wheel all set up with my brush. What I got is this Adams wheel cleaner. Now I've heard really, really good stuff about this. It is a little bit expensive, but I've heard that it works really well. So we're gonna go ahead and put that to the test today. What I'm gonna be doing is shooting up the face of this wheel, pretty heavy coat with this Adams wheel cleaner. Then we'll get to the back, definitely a heavy coat back there. Okay, so I got the wheel out of the sun here. It's nice and cool. Let's go ahead and start shooting up this Adams wheel cleaner. Now from what I understand, you're supposed to use a lot of this stuff. Like you really wanna cake it on there so it's gonna foam up and it's gonna destroy that brake dust on contact essentially and then we'll use the brush and then wash it away with the hose. And you can practically see it blasting the stuff off when it hits it. What is this stuff made of, man? Some freaking space materials. I am starting to get some of the purple. Cool. So you see I've got this big brush here. I was a little concerned at first that, you know, maybe this thing was going to be a little too big, that the spokes in my wheel were a bit too small. Um, it seemed to work out pretty well overall. Those big spokes that you see there, it fit in there no problem. But the tinier spots, I had to kind of get in there and, you know, manipulate the brush to work in there. It did end up working out, but, you know, I probably could have used a smaller brush too. Now you guys, I just want you to keep in mind, I am not a detailer. Please do not use this video, nor hold it against me if you're trying to detail your own car. <laughs> this is just something that I thought would be really cool to get these wheels cleaned up again. And I hope you enjoy the process. So what you may have noticed is that I am overdubbing this whole video. And what I was saying in this clip, ironically, is that I hope you noticed an improvement in the sound quality. Well, sure enough, the sound was absolutely terrible and I totally got it wrong. I'm using a brand new lapel mic and I'm trying to figure this thing out. Please bear with me as I'm figuring this stuff out. But I want you all to know that I am working on trying to get a bit of more production value into these videos. I'd like to have better quality audio as well as lighting and all that. So just please bear with me and know that I'm working on it. But so here's the Adams cleaner at work, man. Just check out how purple all this is. That's the cleaner eating into the brake dust. So what I wanted to see here is just where I stand. I wanted to hose everything off and man, look at this already. Like serious difference already. But so if you see in there, there are definitely still some spots like I need to go ahead and get in there with the brush. And at this point I was thinking I still needed maybe a smaller brush to use, but uh, you know, just after one round, I was pretty happy with it. So I went ahead and applied another round of the Adams cleaner, brushed it up some more. And as you see here, cleaning it up, dude, look at this. This is a clean wheel. Come on, man. <laughs> These wheels have seriously not been this clean in a long, long time. And man, just by using that little brush there, uh, some elbow grease and this wheel cleaner, wow, um, really happy. Look at how the NK logo is shining. Look inside the barrel there where the lug nuts go. I mean, pfft. So this one behind it is a wheel that I haven't cleaned yet. And when you stand back, it looks decent, right? Then you get up on it and you're like, oh, I see all the brake dust and everything that's been caked up on it. And even around the stem there, you see all that? But then check this out, man. Wow. Like the Adams cleaner just totally took that off. It just, it just looks a million times better already. And that's from just using the simple wheel cleaner and the brush. So again, here is the dirty wheel. You see all that brake dust? Gone. Now I see that there is still some spots, don't get me wrong, but generally you notice the difference. So here we go, here's the back of that one wheel that I already cleaned and 
you can kind of see how some of the Adams products got through to the back already. That's why it's starting to get a little bit cleaner. But as I was shooting this stuff on there, I was fully expecting this wheel to be crazy looking once I blast it off with the hose. And just look at that, man. All of that brake dust and grime just washes away. To me, that was just incredible. Like, I've had these wheels again for a long time, seven, eight years, something like that. They have not been this clean in a long, long time. I mean, wow, like I keep saying it, but you know, I'm blown away with this, man. I really am. Like you see that there is still some rust there. I'm thinking that has to be from the brake rotor caliper. Maybe that was one of the drums. I don't know. You know, and obviously I see the wheels are not perfect. They definitely still have spots, but come on. This compared to this is just insane. Um, totally different. The Adams Cleaner really is amazing. And just so y'all know, this is not a sponsored video, okay? They are not paying me to say this. They didn't send me the product. I bought it on my own dime, and I absolutely would buy it again. It was totally worth it. So here in this clip, I just put this wheel out into the shade. I needed to make sure it was nice and cool for what we're going to be doing coming up with the polish. Uh, but while that's cooling off, I go ahead and just start spraying up and cleaning the other wheels. And here we go. Look, this wheel is just cleaning up super awesome as well. This one, you see it still has some spots to it. I'm not sure what that is. If that's like the metal just worn away or if that's like some tar or something, I don't know. You know, obviously these wheels still have spots to them. They are old, but you see it compared to this other one here, it's still a night and day difference. Um, and this wheel didn't even look that bad because I think it's on the back section there uh, where there's the drum brakes. But look at this, man. Uh, the face of it, everything, super happy. And all right, so I got my really nice cleaned up wheel here. I mean, look at this, man. N key logo shining like it hasn't in a while. Now, what I wanna do is go ahead and clean up this lip. This is a machined lip. So it's not chrome, um, but it's supposed to have a shinier look to it. It is still aluminum. It's just the process is called machining and it makes it look shinier. So what I'm gonna do is use this mag and aluminum polish. Because this wheel is still all aluminum, there is no chrome, I figure this is the product to use. What I wanna do is go ahead and try to address the spots of water that have built up in these kind of little grimy areas that you'll see. Maybe it's brake dust, maybe it's just road grime, you know, I don't know. But it's kind of built up over the years and I'm hoping that this mag and aluminum polish will polish that away, and bring a little bit of shine back to these wheels. And here's that polish, mag and aluminum, nice clean cloth, and we'll go ahead and start applying it. And like I said before, you guys, I am not a detailer. Please do not take this video as gospel or anything like that. If you have a better method of cleaning this up, um, please share it with me. Put it down in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Um, 
I am not a detailer, man. I like driving cars mostly, but you know, I'm trying to put a little bit of pride back into my EK. It's something that honestly has been neglected for a while. And so, you know, I'm really enjoying this process of making my car nicer again. Um, I really am taking a sense of pride in it again. Uh, so if you're enjoying this, you know, please stay tuned. We got a lot more coming. Um, but yeah, I hope you're enjoying the process. I try to just work in small sections, wax it up. Um, now I take the clean side of the cloth and we're gonna go ahead and start wiping all that off. And man, already I can start to tell that some shine is coming back to these wheels. Like I was just like amazed with it as I'm doing it. Um, man, these wheels, I know I keep saying it, but they truly haven't looked so good in a long, long time. Man, this is a clean looking wheel now. These are NK 92s. They are 15 by eight. They were originally a plus 25 offset. I had 10 millimeters shaved off because they weren't fitting my car quite right. So it's now a plus 35. And to me, that offset fits the 90s Honda perfect. So of course I'm gonna take care of these other wheels and then we'll get them back on the car. And just check this wheel out, you guys. I mean, come on. Adam's wheel cleaner and then doing a bit of polish on the lip. Again, it's a machined lip. I'm so happy with this. I mean, come on, look at this thing. Like, it truly hasn't been so clean in such a long time. And I'm just so happy with the results. It was totally worth the effort. Uh, and again, uh, this is not a sponsored video by either Mother's or Adam's Polish. I bought this stuff on my own dime. I chose their product because I thought it would work. And I absolutely would go get it again. I'm super happy with the result. 